Hey everyone, you're watching Kamloops Trout, and this is video 7 of our Countdown to Ice Off series for 2020. So, I've just uh, got about an inch and a quarter of 12 pound monofilament fishing line in my hackle pliers here, and I'm just melting either side to create some nice mono eyes for this fly. A uh, great little trick for many of our patterns we like to tie if you haven't seen it before. So, now that we've got that done, we're just going to very carefully try to place that onto the hook shank and make sure that it's situated right fairly even and whatever you do uh, make sure you leave some room in behind that eyelet of that hook you don't want these um, pushed up too tight to that eyelet because it's going to make uh, problems for you afterwards when we try to tie in some of our later materials of this fly so give it a little bit of space and then just crisscross with some figure eight wraps back and forth securing it in uh, nice and strong and once you've got that part taken care of you can melt the eyes just a little bit more and shorten them up a little bit more to whatever length you like and now we're going to tie in some small ultra wire to the uh, hook shank here and we'll just tie that in right behind those um, eyes and tie it in down the side of the hook shank till we're about halfway past that hook point and then we're going to tie in some strung dark olive marabou so I just grab a, a feather there and rip off about a quarter inch of material and we're just going to tie that in right at the rear of the fly leaving our the length of our tail uh, approximately what we want we can always pinch them off a little bit shorter later if we like so we'll wrap forward now and we're just going to tie in some dark olive scud back material which i've trimmed with a bit of a point and we'll tie that in about halfway and i just like once i got it i like to pull back nice and tight and then we'll secure that off in the rear of the vise and now we'll go back forward once again after we've made sure everything's pushed back uh, and secured nice and strong and tie in our final material here which is some dark olive UV straggle string and this is some great stuff uh, it has that nice subtle sparkle of the, the UV material that glows in the sunlight and the way this tie, uh, fly is tied, it creates a, a really nice subtle um, sparkle to it, which is it's not too much. Uh, great for tricking those weary big trout who've been hooked before. Uh, they tend to be a little bit smarter than the little guys, so going for a bit of a more realistic approach with this fly. So now we're just going to try and make sure everything's out of our way, push back and we're going to wrap forward with our straggle string again and damsel flies unlike dragonflies um, they're the same family but they're very thin um, skinny bodied uh, nymphs so they do have a very slight taper so we're just going to wrap forward and then go back with a couple wraps and go forward once again creating a very subtle taper for the body of this fly and once we've got that in, we can now take our marabou, and I just like to spin that into, you know, kind of a chenille there, um, hackle. And we're just going to grab it with our hackle pliers, and I'm going to wrap forward. And I'm not going to cover up all that UV material. I'm going to leave gaps in between with each, with each wrap. You know, do three or four wraps is plenty. And we're stopping short. We're not going all the way to the back of those eyes because we want to leave a little bit of room to create our, our thorax of this uh, fly. So we're just going to secure that all in at our stopping point there. And now we are going to secure everything off with a, a whip finish there, a little half hitch. And now I'm just going to very carefully trim out all the excess material off the top of the fly as it uh, a little bit bulky and we don't need all that up there so we'll just try and cut a bunch of that out and then we're gonna pull forward and secure off our scud back material so when you're doing this of course just try and center it as best you can you know make sure it's situated exactly how you want it uh, sometimes it wants to do its own thing so take your time and 
make sure it's done right and I've got that uh, secured nice and centered down the center of the back side of the fly so now we can wrap forward with our wire and you may not have noticed but uh, earlier with both our marabou and our straggle string I wrapped towards myself and now I'm counter wrapping uh, wrapping away from myself and what this does is um, secures in all those materials much better for when the fish start chewing on this thing they got sharp teeth that tend to tear them apart so it makes for a longer lasting fly and you don't get sucked into those materials and have your uh, wire hidden as much so that's uh, definitely something you want to do there so once we get to that point we're just going to pull back our scud back material and then wrap a couple in front and then break that wire out so yeah this fly is a little uh, tricky you got a lot of materials to work with it can get uh, a little frustrating if you get them all caught up together but definitely well worth the effort uh, it's a very realistic uh, pattern that will definitely catch you a lot of fish no doubt about it so so now that we have that all in we'll just wind forward once more with our straggle string and we'll secure that off nice and strong right in front of those mono eyes and we've got one last material that we're going to use for this fly which is going to be some green uh, olive mallard flank so I've got a mallard flank feather here that I've just trimmed the tip off and then cut the center uh, fibers out and I'll lay that on top of the fly which um, gives you the same amount to both the right and left hand side of the fly so we've got the an even amount of legs uh, fibers sticking out to both sides and then we're just going to secure that off in front of our mono eyes pull forward with our uh, marabou secure off at that eyelet and then pull both back and secure in behind the eyes again and what we're doing is creating a nice visible head to the damsel fly here and finally we're going to do the same process same steps with our scud back material so you're just going to um, grab the scud back material pull forward securing it in front of the eyes behind the hook eyelet and I like to um, secure it well so pull pull up go underneath it over top underneath you know make sure it's being held in nice and strong and then pull back and secure in behind those mono eyes uh, make sure that it's nice and strong and make sure everything looks right if not you can always go back and adjust the, the size of the head appropriately so after this point uh, we're just gonna pull our scud back material up and trim it out at a triangular point in behind I like to leave maybe a quarter inch tag or something uh, like that in behind uh, create a little bit of a thorax or a wing case so to speak and we'll just whip finish off nice and secure and all you got to do at this point now is just trim your tail to the desired length by grabbing and breaking out those fibers with your fingertips uh, pulling out any undesired legs that if you think there's too many cutting the straggle string fibers if they're sticking out too long get everything the way you want it before you hit it with your UV resin because sometimes once you do uh, use the UV resin it permanently wants to hold certain things in various directions that you may or may not like so make sure everything sit nicely and then hit it with your your resin and make sure you really cure in that uh, thread right behind the eye and right in front of the eyes make sure that that head's going to be nice and strong and hold together a few fish for sure so thanks for watching everyone if you haven't checked us out on the website or our Instagram or Facebook page, please do so. All your support is much appreciated. And if you guys have any requests for the next few videos we got coming out for our series, please let us know in the comment section below. And until next time, cheers, tight lines.